Hi there, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week, no matter which sport you are betting on. So we're going to look at the NHL right now. So as we are about a quarter of the way through the season, the division and conference races are already starting to heat up. So if you're not already a member, please join the uh, VIP club section and you will have access to all this great information to help make your predictions and your picks even better every single week. So let's look at some of these games for Saturday, November the 23rd. Then we scroll down through here. The first one we want to take a look at is the Arizona Coyotes and the Los Angeles Kings. Arizona is 13-7-2 for the season and 7-3-2 on the road, second in the Pacific Division. Uh, the Kings are bringing up the rear in the division at 8-12-1 and 6-4 and at home. But you see right now the Kings are playing better, burning hot, and they have won three out of their last four. Arizona is average at the moment, and they have uh, won four out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that uh, the Coyotes have a 25-9 to nine advantage there. So they've got a large advantage on the power rank indicator. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups. The Coyotes won the first meeting by a 3-0 score on November the 18th, just a few days ago. If you're considering betting the over-under in this game, you can see that uh, Coyotes are playing in games trending well under, as are the Kings, the red line compared to the blue line, so that is a good bet for this game. Take a look at the stability. How stable are the two teams? Well, the Kings are at plus 6 compared to plus 2, which means the Kings are performing more consistently according to their favorite underdog status than the Coyotes are. So what I'm thinking in this game is, is that the Kings, are, they're playing better, but and I think they will battle, but the Coyotes have too much and will win by a goal, perhaps maybe even in overtime. So let's take a look at another matchup here. Going down to a, a, a wide list of games for the weekend, as you can see. I want to take a look at Florida versus Carolina. Florida is 11, 5, and 5, second in the Atlantic Division. The Hurricanes are 7 and 3, and 13, 7 and 1 overall, third in the Metropolitan. Carolina won the first meeting between the teams by a 63 score. And if you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that uh, Carolina is on a steep upward climb, but they are still behind Florida by a 24 to 20 margin. If you look at the head to head matchups, you will see Carolina again, 6-3 winner on the road on October the 8th. If you're considering the over and under, you can see also here that Florida is playing in games well over the line, as is Carolina. So it should be a high-scoring game, so bet the over on this one. Uh, how stable are the two teams? I'll take a look at that as well. You can see that Carolina is a more stable team at plus 4 compared to Florida at plus 1. Over the last six, Florida is four and two. They have average status. Carolina is burning hot, and they have won their last four. So Carolina is the better team at the moment. They uh, will take care of business at home and probably win by a couple of goals. You can look at another matchup. We have a few more here to look at. New York Rangers at the Montreal Canadiens. The Rangers are average down at the moment compared to average for Montreal. You can see here that. They have lost three out of their last four and three, and three over their last six. Montreal has lost their last two, and they are also three and three over their last six. The Rangers are seventh in the Metropolitan Division. They're eight, eight, and two. Montreal is 11, six, and four, third in the Atlantic Division, and six, three, and one at home. According to the power ranking indicator, you see Montreal is at plus 23, and the Rangers are at plus seven, so a wide advantage there. Considering the over and under, you can see here that the Rangers are playing in games trending over. Montreal is playing in games trending under. When that's the case, I usually tend to avoid it as the teams are on opposite sides of the line. If you look at the volatility oscillator, see how stable the two teams have been. You can see that Montreal has been very unstable at minus two, so take it with a grain of salt. They're over under, excuse me, they're favorite and underdog, favorite and underdog status in this one. And the Rangers haven't been that stable either. So, I, despite the uh, instability for Montreal, I think they have a considerably better team overall and should come away with a home victory. 
couple more games here. They look at the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Colorado Avalanche. Toronto is dead at the moment. They have lost their last six. Colorado is average up, and they have won five out of their last six. Toronto has struggled to a 9-10-4 and four start and 3-7 and seven on the road, fifth in the Atlantic Division. The Avalanche are second in the Central with a 13-6-2 record. If you look at the totals predictor here, we see that both teams are playing in games trending over the line, so betting the over is a safe play in this one. If you look at the volatility oscillator, how stable have the two teams been? Toronto been, has been performing more consistently, much more consistently at plus five compared to minus two for Colorado. And let's see what else is there to look at here. I think I looked at everything. Oh, head to head matchups. The head to head matchups, they have not played game yet this season. This is their first matchup. Take a look at the power rankings indicator. You can see Toronto is down here at plus six. They have <laughs> declined considerably since uh, just a few weeks ago when they were at plus 27. And Colorado is at plus 26. Toronto will eventually get back on track, but it won't be in this one. Pick the Avalanche for the win. And the last one I want to look at here is down here. Perhaps the game of the day. Edmonton Oilers versus the Vegas Golden Knights. The Oilers are first in the Pacific with a 14-6-3 and record and 7-4-1 and and on the road. Vegas is third in the division at 11-6-3 and 6-4-1 and and at home. Edmonton has averaged down. They are third. Four and two over the last six. Vegas is dead up, winning the last two after losing their previous four. With the power rankings indicator, Edmonton at plus 22. Vegas has an increase from plus three a few days ago, and they are back up to plus 11, so they are on a positive trend. We have the totals predictor, betting the over under. I would say, even though Edmonton is just slightly over, Vegas is quite a bit more over. You see down here the red compared to the blue, so I think betting the over is a good bet on this one. Head to head matchups. They haven't played yet this season. This is the first meeting between the two teams. So I think the Oilers uh, on the road will actually come away with the win on this one and increase their lead in the division. So there you have it. There's, uh, there's more games here that you can take a look at, and you'll see people will be making comments as I did right here. You can see it says, uh, math, that's me. I, I, wrote, I wrote that one, and uh, I have a bunch of them in here for all the games that we just discussed. So take a look at, and happy betting for this week. Hope you do well, and we will see you next week, and have a great week.